All right, here's another really quick one just on how to weather your um, any of your stickers. I don't use as much rust color as I do the brown and a little bit of the black. And I just kind of blot. Okay, now these are the Max Factory um, stickers. They're amazing. I um, actually scratched them with um, sandpaper ahead of time. I did that first. Now see, I'm just kind of moving around with the brush. I was originally going to airbrush all these. I really like the way airbrush looks for weathering, but um, it gives it a really, really light, nice look. But with this pack, I felt like it really needed heavy weathering. So I went with that. Okay, so then I come back with your sponge and my sponge does not is not like soaking wet. It's dry-ish, it's just damp. So you just kind of come back in, you're just blotting. What I like to focus on is where I think dirt would be, which would be on the corners. That's where stuff tends to build up. I feel like the centers get warm, more. <laughs> Did I even say that right? Worn more. Um, I also don't like to completely cover all of my lettering. I like to come in with a little bit of that, so it's not, not quite so much. Now I'm gonna take my piece of paper towel I'm going to go in there and I'm actually going to pull off more just kind of randomly but kind of still leaving it the areas in the uh, corners and sides just because I mean it's such a pretty sticker why why completely cover it all right um, almost like that more up here in the corner. Now, oh, see, I took a little bit too much off that corner. So what I'm going to do is just go back in, put some more back up in there, grab a little more pink. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm still kind of blotching some off, but obviously do it to your liking. There you go.